Hey everyone, welcome to the Sam Livecast. Something weird happened with the audio at the beginning of the show. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to handle it by uh, telling you what goes on in the kitchen. I know this is weird, but but it only happens while I'm in the kitchen and then it fixes itself. So anyway, welcome to Vegetable Week. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, I love vegetables. I love them more now than I did a couple of years ago. And maybe I'm trying to eat better, but maybe I'm appreciating them more by, by cooking them better. And we're going to roast some cauliflower today, and it will be unbelievable. So what you see me doing here first is just breaking down a cauliflower. So I get all the green parts off. You don't need any of that leaf stuff. You know, There's a lot more leaf uh, that happens out in the field that they take off before they come to the store, but they leave those bottom leaves. So get rid of those. And really the whole point of what I'm trying to do right now is get down to the get down to cutting them down to individual little florets. Like anything that you cook, things that are cut even sized will cook evenly. If you have a giant piece like this and a tiny piece like this, they won't cook the same way at the same period of time. So try and get them down to the right size, essentially. So uh, I cut around that center core. I get down to these pieces. I'm just going to put them in a bowl. It's very simple. I'm actually watching the video right here of what you're seeing. There's Max shooting me, cutting this stuff down, making it nice, making it into sort of relatively bite-sized pieces. I mean, you don't want to give somebody a piece of cauliflower like this because how the heck are they going to eat that? They're not. They're going to have to knife and fork it, which you really don't want to do. You want to just be able to take a piece, stab it, and eat it. All right, so you've got them down to about the same point. This is taking me a lot longer uh, watching it than it is to describe. But I think you get the point. You, you try and get these down to essentially the same size pieces. You put them in a bowl, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Well, it makes me wonder if I should shorten this show somehow. But I always say I'm doing this stuff live so you can see really how it happens. Um, I think a fun way to watch this show would be watch what I'm making Get the ingredients and then sit down, watch the video, and do it along with me. So I've just grabbed olive oil, regular uh, olive oil, not extra virgin. Um, my pepper grinder. I've said it all the time. If you don't have your own pepper grinder, buy one. And even if it's a little tiny store bought one, that pepper is going to be a thousand times better than just shake pepper out of a out of a can. Uh, the other two things that I've grabbed uh, out of my cupboard are garlic salts. No, that's wrong. I'm looking at it now. It's garlic powder, just straight garlic powder and curry powder. So olive oil on the um, cauliflower in the bowl, then some kosher salt, toss it together. And now it's going to get uh, the curry powder. If you don't like curry, um, I suppose you could skip it. But I'd like to say if you don't like curry, you should mature a little bit and learn to like it because it's amazing. It's a whole nother world of flavor that you don't normally get in your everyday life. And it transports you to some other country, I guess, you know, many different countries use curry a lot. So, uh, the garlic, uh, powder, the curry powder, the kosher salt, the pepper and the olive oil. And then I just toss them. That's it. Obviously I'm adding a little bit more of something. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, it looks like it's a little more curry powder. So then you're done and then you're done. And you grab the one that falls off the, uh oh, and goes onto the floor. And if you get it fast enough, here we go. Five, four, three, two. There you go. Thankfully, we made the five or 10 or 20 second rule, whatever it is, onto a baking sheet. There's nothing on the baking sheet because we've oiled the cauliflower. We don't have to touch it. Um, we don't have to put anything on the, on the pan, is what I'm saying. And now the, it's going into a 500 degree oven. You could do this with broccoli. It'd be easy. I don't know that I'd do the uh, the curry powder with the broccoli, but definitely the powder. You know what I'd use? I'd use like Montreal steak seasoning. It would be unbelievable on broccoli. Anyway, into the 500-degree oven, we're going to give it about 7 to, say, 10 minutes at first side, and then when we're, we turn it about three-quarters of the way through, halfway through, because what touches the, the – uh, oh, it's over now. Well, that's it. All right, we're into a commercial. See ya. Okay, so we're back. Uh, cauliflower's in the oven. We got a lot of stuff to get to. 
First, I'm going to get to this. So you know that uh, I've been doing uh, video blogging and uh, written blogging for Bed Bath & Beyond. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So sometimes they suggest an idea. Hey, people would like to know about this, and we cover it, and sometimes I think up stuff. Kelly came up with a suggestion the other day. She goes, they make those popsicle maker things. Why don't you do something with that? You could do some fun stuff. And I thought, oh, it's kind of a cool idea. So I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm scoping, and I find this thing. And this is called the Zoku. It's a quick pop maker. Quick pop means that you take the center core of it, you put it in your freezer for 24 hours, mm -hmm. and then you pour your liquids in, and it makes a popsicle in seven minutes. Wow. Seven freaking minutes. So we're going to do that. We're going <laughs> to try. We're going to try a couple popsicles right now. Which and I means have, once you're done with the popsicles, we need to turn the That stuff, plug. yeah. Well, except we've <laughs> lost a couple minutes now. So... So here's what we've got. I'm gonna try this, this. I mean, my variety is not all that great today, but, but we'll see what we can do. Sorry. I've seen these on a couple blogs and they look really neat. Like They look good, right? You can do a lot of really cool No, I think, you, I think you can. So just let me do this. We're only gonna make one of each. All right, I see you've got some lemonade, some strawberry lemonade. I've got some pink lemonade, some, chocolate. some, some white lemonade, or regular lemonade, uh -huh. and chocolate milk. Sweet. So we're experimenting, that's we're for sure. We're completely experimenting. So hey. here's, this, here's this thing. I think the concept is like those ice cream makers. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That you, freeze the, that you freeze the canister part. Yeah. So now here's what I need. I need the pop things, and so here's what happens. I just wish that I had the freezer space for these. Things. Right, I hear you. Okay, so these guys go in. Here's what the top looks like. Okay. Nice. Okay. These guys go in, there's only one way they can go in. And then you put the liquids in. So, let's try uh, this. Oh, you know what? I like the idea. Hold on, I'm trying not to spill. I like the idea of of uh, putting fruit in with these things. Mm -hmm. But I don't really know how that would happen. I think I'd have to mush it up a bit. Okay, so we've got this. We've got pink lemonade that I'm gonna mix with some vodka. <laughs> oh, jeez. Because I wanna try that. And vodka will make it a little bit like slushier, right? Right, so I guess I gotta dilute it quite a bit because I can't have it too vodka E or it's not going to freeze, right? Why not? I mean, it's like the guys that made the uh, the margarita pops that we had a That's while back. True. Those are strong, man. All right, so we got that. And now chocolate lemonade. milk. And I have no idea if chocolate milk is going to work, but I love the idea that it's going to be sort of fudgical-like. Oh, yes, it's true. Because I love fudgicles. Somebody give me seven minutes on the clock. Got it. Well, yeah, we'll see. At 5.30. Okay. Okay, good. Set. Okay. Now here's the other things we can talk about today. Wait, Let's get into on. it. I got vodka here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't let it go to waste. Hey, wait, before you get into your stuff, yeah, yes. I just want to hop into this thing that I just found. What thing? You're up for star dads in San Diego. I'm up for what? You're up for the yeah, star for dad of San Diego versus a lot of very influential people like Antonio Tony Hawk Gates? and... NFL players, Phil Mickelson, Shut Artie up. Ojeda. Where did you find Tom that? Tom DeLong from Blink-182. Wait, how many? How, how, how long is the list? It, that's it, right there. And that's it? You realize that Antonio Gates, Kellen Winslow Jr., those are huge football players. Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk. If you can beat Tony Hawk, Well, Sam. what makes... Uh, Nick Hardwick. You're friends with Hardwick, right? Oh, no. Goff. Yeah, Mike Goff. Mike Goff. Um, so, yeah, look, you're... Up for the dad of the year, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Favorite local celebrity dad. Wow. How did that? What is that terrible picture they have of me? Too? I, know, I know. Seriously. Somebody, Somebody turn you know, the lights down a little bit. Or Jeez. That and you know what? I prefer it when they take and they crop it right here. Yeah, that's it, the best. It part. minimizes the forehead a lot. <laughs> and I would like them to do that. This is like the creeper smile that you have. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, so let me show you a picture. Yeah. And uh, see if you can tell me what's wrong with this. Go. Um, uh, I know. The flames. Nope. Oh, no, the thermometer's photoshopped. 
Uh, it's totally I don't know photoshopped if it is. right in. I don't know if it is. I think it hundred percent is. Look Anybody else that. know what's wrong with that? At one hundred and seventy eight degrees, your steak is like charred. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Exactly. That's, That's like it. super, super well done to the so max. So then, okay. So then, that completely proves that it's photoshopped because it wouldn't say one seventy eight on that perfectly grilled steak. I'm why not sure would they? Why would they? That's a. I was flipping for something the other day on the net, and I came across this picture. That's so look funny. At the, I went, look why? at the pin. It is completely photoshopped. That's the edge of the sur- of the needle. Oh, you're saying it's not even going into the meat? I don't it's think not. so, no. That, that's, that's, a piece, <laughs> that's a thermometer that they just photoshopped. Wait, yeah. do you remember the competition, the, the cooking, the picture oh, yeah. competition we oh, had? Oh, and yeah. Lynn called out that one person yeah. and said, wow. you photoshopped that picture, and they got pissed. Yeah. Well, they did. I mean, I way, didn't say that. Oh by the gosh. way, the uh, the <laughs> Hawaii contest is getting closer. Oh, we what? Wait, we haven't even talked about that yet. So uh, then I shouldn't. What are you talking about, man? Uh, nothing. Never mind. I okay. don't even know about this contest. <laughs> never mind. Okay, you want to see another jacked up picture? Yes. yes. This. It's my brand new passport. <laughs> Just came today. <laughs> Do I look like the biggest effing creeper you've ever seen you look, in your life? You actually look like you came out of a hostage situation. I'll tell you so. I do. Look at bed head, the whole thing. I look like somebody just woke me up, took the blindfold off me, and slapped my glasses <laughs> on my head. I'll tell you something. Uh, it's a Canadian passport. Yeah. You cannot smile in a Canadian passport photo. They will return it. As you should not. They've returned Kelly's before. Oh, you don't even know. Jilly has been going through this process to get her new one that yeah. because her old one just expired. They have, I swear to God, they have sent it back four times. Well, you got to say, not stop because sending of smile. cute pictures of no, her, No, not dude. because of the smile. Because She's doing this. One, it's overexposed. Two, the margins aren't right. And it's all because you go to these American places in the U.S. to get p- passport photos, and then they have different That's rules. That's what I did. I yeah. went to I went to. They have uh, different rules liners. for Canadian, yeah. I went to the... Oh. Something just dropped. People don't really know what's happening here. It's kind of weird. There's a, we put a sheet up uh-huh. to shield this ugly, hard, harsh light. When sometimes it comes down. There you go. Thank Zeke, you, Zeke, can Zach help him? Hey, Zach, can you give me a hand? Yeah. Ugly picture, right? Yeah. Ugly picture. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my God. It's terrible. Anyway, moving on. Mm, so, I don't know if you can find this. I put a picture of my mother... In the mi- in in the middle in mid Skype with me mm-hmm. on uh, the Facebook. Yeah, I, I got like, it. Like a week ago, my mom is 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 hip to Skype, and I put the pi- look at her. There She's she eighty eight. Love it. Everybody, I, I put the thing there. There was a jillion likes and a whole bunch of comments, and I sent them to her with all the oh, comments. Yeah. And she writes me. She goes, Sam, that is so nice, but they all need glasses. I might never take it off my computer. Every time I feel blue, I will read all those nice things people said about me. Oh, how cute is that? that you is know, awesome. we all need moments like that. We all need moments where we can have nice things said about us. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Guy fans. Here you go. We love you guys. Yep, we do love them. Something happened to me for the second time I don't get. What? I've been asked to write. Hold on. I got to get the right word. I've been asked to write an endorsement for a cookbook. Mm -hmm. You know, on the back of the book, you read, sometimes you read people's comments. Yep. Sin the cooking guy says, buy this book. You'll love it. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was asked once before in the same circumstances. Now I've been asked to write an endorsement for a cookbook. I have no idea who the woman is. She sent me a picture of the cover of the book, not the book manuscript. Mm -hmm. And she gave me a day to agree to do this. I just think it's so messed up, I can't believe it. I would never write an endorsement for somebody that I didn't know. Yeah. Especially if I hadn't write the, read the book. How can I say anything positive? What can I say? <laughs> you can this be, book, buy this book, it has many pages. You can be, <laughs> That's all I can you do. Can, you could be throwing up your name on like a neo-Nazi manifesto. I, I, you I don't know what the hell. Idea. Thank you, Max. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on inside. Now, it's a baking influenced book and I don't bake. I don't really like baking things. So for me to start saying it's a great book would be BS in the first place but then the woman had the nuts to say (laughs) the nuts (laughs) uh 
Below are some blurbs I wrote to make things as easy as can be what? for you. Oh, seriously? I got to try and censor this. I don't want to hurt the woman's feelings or give away who she is. Uh, she is a very talented baker. Part of her best work is simplifying her cake making process into this beautiful book. So those of you at home can easily emulate her work. Definitely worth keeping on the shelves. Would I even ever say emulate? Mm -mm. No, but I not just, really. I, and how about this? Do you, wait, that's not, yeah. Do you think this was like a shotgun email to a bunch of people that she just admires? And she was like, maybe if I send an email out to well, people that Well, I'll admire, tell you this. One person will write it. The first paragraph is, is very Sam centric. Oh. Like she mentioned a bunch of things about me. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, and then further on, there's other things, but check this out. Here's the line that really kills me. <laughs> I'm a wife, mom, and one of the most original cake makers around. I love lights at night and I have an incredibly sleazy love affair with food. What? What? Would you Incredibly ever put those words sleazy? in a sentence? I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure if that qualifies as like oh, sweet. Shit. I forgot oh about this. Uh oh. Hold on. Nobody move. It's got to be still good, right? It's freaking beautiful, is what it is, my man. Wow. Hold on. If you hear that thing sizzling. I know. Oh, really? We can. I can't wait okay. for this sleazy cauliflower. Let me come over here and I'll do oh. this right in front. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, shit. Yep. oh gosh, don't don't hurt yourself, sir. No. But you see how this guy have turned when you turn them? Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Do the popsicle things need to go in? No, the popsicle things just stay there. See what's happening here oh, now? Nice. Yes. Wow. That's what's happening. Look That's at that so color. All I want to do is now I just have to turn all these guys over. Don't burn yourself, dude. No, I'm good now. Now I'm good. This will just take me one second. I could let it go a little bit longer, but I want to sort of get them done evenly by the time we want to be done here. And you know, you know how it goes. We know. Yeah. We know. Mm. You should smell. I'm telling you, the curry powder is unbelievable. It's just a super great add in this whole thing. Hey, maybe one of the fans will know, but what about cauliflower makes it taste good when it's roasted. Cause you know how things are good when they have sugar and you caramelize them yes. and things like that. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, there's not really sugar in cauliflower, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's gotta be, there's gotta be some amount of, of, of sugar or wouldn't do that. That That's not, I don't It definitely gets understand. sweeter. It does, it does, you're, you're right. I guess when you eat cauliflower like by itself, it just has no hint of anything. So I'm getting a little bit of jiggling on the top of this. Yeah. Like the last one. Still has a little bit of liquid inside. Okay. Mm, Can you see that? Um, yes, sort no, of. No, not really. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna give still give another five, another solid five minutes. It's right. been now seven or eight. Cool. And that thing fell down, and I don't give a crap about that anymore. <laughs> All that right. Thing hey, down. while I have you guys for a second, I just yeah. want to remind everybody to go to blog.bedbathandbeyond.com and check out our most recent video. Mm, 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 mm. The grilling season has started, and that means that our grilling series has started yes Ooh. so we're gonna be pumping out uh awesome grilling videos all summer long and the first one is great easiest teriyaki meatballs ever right on the grill go to blog.bedbathandbeyond.com and go to their facebook and twitter sites and tell them how much you guys love us hey so speaking of uh grilling bed bath and beyond so um obviously if i'm doing videos for them uh, uh, they want me to be sure that I'm using products that they have. Mm -hmm. right. So if somebody doesn't watch a video and go, oh, I love that, what's he using? And then you can't get it there. So mm -hmm. when it came time to start these grilling things, um, I, have a, I have a green egg, which they don't sell. I have a smoker, which they don't sell. I have a, I have a big stainless gas barbecue, which they don't sell. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to do grilling stuff. They do sell old school Weber's, the pot kettle ones. The best. Right? Never had one before. Really? They're the best, man. I got one. 22 and a half inch diameter, 99 bucks. Mm. So cheap. So cheap, right? Jeez. It's cheaper than a lot of those little crappy ass hibachis. Yeah. That true. you would never want to use anything for. I spark it up. My love affair with charcoal cooking has begun and it is not stopping. It is not stopping. 
Here's a picture of uh, on the egg. Uh, a chicken that I did the other day, wow. a beer can. Oh, you did a beer can chicken. Yeah. And? Oh my God. All I did, and I'll do it. I'll do it here. I mean, it's super Let's simple. It. It just Let's takes a little time. Chinese five spice, mm. brown sugar, salt, olive oil. Boom. I made a paste. I rubbed it on the chicken. I rubbed some inside the chicken. I put some extra inside the can. Poured out a little bit of the beer, put some inside on the green egg, shut the lid about an hour and 10 minutes later. Unbelievable. Some of the best chicken I've ever made. Mm. Some of the best chicken I've ever made. I can't, I just, I can't stop. I've used the Weber, the $99 Weber five or six times since then. I used it last night to make a, uh, a flat iron steak with chimichurri. There was a stupid good. Yes. I'm telling you. I was always this guy that said, I'm, I'm a gas man. I only want to use gas because when I want to cook on the grill, <laughs> it's a stupid line. I'm a gas man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that reminds me of? It reminds Zach. Show Zach. It reminds Zach of, say it. Wait, we'll say it at the same time. One, two, three. Seinfeld. Oh. <laughs> Seinfeld, same thing. He said ass man. Yeah. Do you remember when Kramer ends up with the wrong oh, license yeah. plates? I'm the ass man. Uh, so, um, what was I saying? You were talking about the Weber. You're a gas man. Oh, that's, that was it. That was my whole thing. I said, I want to eat now. I don't want to have to plan out my eating. Look at Max is playing that. There There's they the are, Weber. right? That's the Weber, baby. Look thing how good. Amazing. Look how good those meatballs are in there. Oh, I ate every single one of them. Oh, yeah. Teriyaki <laughs> sauce, little green onion, little sesame seeds. They're genius. And there I am. So, um. Uh, I would say when I want to eat, I don't want to have to think about it an hour before. I want to eat now. Mm -hmm. So I can turn on my grill, shut the lid, and in five minutes, ten minutes, it's hot enough. I always thought that it was going to take an hour with the charcoal briquettes or the lump charcoal. And I'm a fan of lump charcoal. I just bought myself one of those chimney starters. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Get a picture of the Weber one. I'll go grab one. Get a picture of the new Weber one. I think it was 18 bucks. Really? You put the coals in it, 15 minutes, you're ready to go. And you're cooking on freaking charcoal. They, get, they do get ripping hot. You got to get one. It was too, I used it today. I didn't give myself enough time. I almost burnt the coals out by the time I got to it. So it's here's fantastic. A, here's a little shot of what it would look like without one of the walls on it. Yeah. Right. It, it basically just concentrates all the, all the charcoal together and it heats up like Mm -hmm. infinitely faster than you spread them out. That's the exact one that I've got. We're going to have Greg Grimpy on Barbecue Central Radio oh, Show. Right. Yes. Hopefully uh, hopefully next week. He was supposed to be on uh, a few days ago, and he had to cancel. But the point is, he's an expert at this stuff. I'm just telling you, it'll change your life. If you think you don't have time, spend 18 19 bucks, Buy that chimney starter. You will be so surprised at how good they are. Mm -hmm. And I've been a fan of these, this lump charcoal, and I want to get his opinion yeah. on the briquettes because I just don't know. Mm. All right, so how's our cauliflower looking? Cauliflower is pretty good. So yeah. Let's okay. check these guys are out. Are we getting though. close? I think these are popsicles. So, <laughs> you think they're popsicles? I think they're popsicles now. Now, here's the way you get them off. I hope they're popsicles. You take this little special tool, yes. right? Hey, little tool. <laughs> and you put it on, and you turn it. And okay. you continue to turn, and when you uh, encounter pressure, more, more, and it's supposed to go boop. That's such a smart Wait, design. Wait, it's not smart yet. <laughs> Shite. Oh, you screwed it up, dude. Oh, you went too nope. far. You stripped it. <laughs> stripped the popsicle. Oh, oh wow. wow. Who stripped the popsicle, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> not freaking me. Now, wait. Now I can do this. Now I can take it off. And now I can do... The chocolate. That's so cool. So basically just kind of like gently pulls the popsicle up out of it. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you need, you need some way to do it. Uh-oh. Because we had an old popsicle maker, and every time you try to get the stick out, yeah, you like take the stick out of the popsicle, or you need like super hands to get it out, you know? Yeah. That's smart. Okay. One problem here. Uh-oh. Oh, oh you what stripped happened? It. <laughs> Which one is that one? That was the I, that was the last one. Oh, that was the vodka one. Oh, oh too that much vodka. Makes sense. I got to work on my ratios. But yeah, what is go. good? 
Boom is that one. Zach, nice. do you want a popsicle? What kind is that? Just straight lemonade. Yes. Hold on. Mm. Completely hard like a popsicle. Really good. Wait, how this one too? The Ready? fudgicle looks right. good. Check the fudgicle. Whoa. Okay, look at that. That's cool. That is just straight fudgicle right there. Hold on, Zach. You can have this fudgicle. one too. Is it fudgicle? No, it's, no, no. Fudgicle. It is fudgicle. What's the word? It, it is popsicle, but fudgicle just sounds so much better. No, no. When I fudgicle. When I typed it in a. It's a. Google. No, I know it definitely wow, that's is pretty good. fudgicle. Does anybody want points? Do you want this? Uh, we're good. All right, Lynn. No, I'm good for now. Thank fudgicle. you. Hey, it's time to hop in the kitchen. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, it's time to hop in the kitchen. I'm kind of bummed about that vodka one. I wonder if it just needs more time. I'll leave it in there and see if it refreezes itself back together. But now that the stick is out, I don't think so. Yeah. It ain't coming out. Now I'm going to have to like heat the whole thing up. All right. Uh, let's go see what's happened with our cauliflower. Hey, Lynn. We're, uh, we're still recording. All right, cool, perfect. Wait, hang on a second. My headphones stopped working. Cool. It's, a good, it's a good popsicle, right? I'm ready. We're just waiting. Oh. Get her done. All right. Does that mean yes? Yep. Yep. OK, tell me when. Go. OK, so here's what we've got. We've got a bowl. It's vegetable week, ladies and gentlemen, and out comes number one, and here it is. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Look looking at, great. Look at how lovely this crap is. I mean, cauliflower. I don't mean crap at all. So the only other thing, sorry. I know I've already seasoned it. I've become a fan of a little extra seasoning when things come out of the oven. It just kind of sucks it up really nicely and a little bit extra of this salt, kosher salt, used the right way. Oh my God. That's fantastic. Look at that. Mm. God, I love that stuff. Perfect. It doesn't, it doesn't get any easier than doing, oh my God, is that good. All right, I need one bite. One bite, and the crazy thing is, check this out. Look at that piece, Max. Wow, Perfect. that color. The color, right? That's what I'm talking about. The little bit of heat from the... Wait, did you guys just notice that popped out of the fork <laughs> and before a little piece from the front of it just dropped down? It's because it's so tender. It's so tender. Um, I'm getting a little bit of heat from the red pepper. Definitely the curry. Mm. That is insane good. Insane good. And for people that worry about doing things last minute, not that it took a lot of work. Take the cauliflower, cut it up, hit it with the olive oil, the curry powder, the salt, the pepper, the red pepper flakes, and just stick it off to the side. And then when your guests come, then throw it into the oven. You don't have to start everything right away at the last minute. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Before the summer's out, we're gonna be grilling slabs of cauliflower outside. Oh yes. All right, call, uh, vegetable week is here. I'm really happy for it. We've had a lot of requests. I can't stop eating this stuff. It's so good. All right. We're going to see you Wednesday for more great veggies. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends. Check out our sponsors. We love that you're here. See ya.